are you today? Um, so you know my channel is Bake and Share, it's about baking, it's about sharing, so it's about baking and cooking and sharing with people and it's also about sharing with each other, all the bits and pieces and the ups and downs that we have in life and keeping everything as positive and happy as possible, that's my intention. My intention is to help people and make people feel happier and I also love learning from you, I love your comments that you put underneath and how we all can have a conversation. So I wanted to talk to you about losing weight and people often say to me, well what do you know, you know, you're slim blah 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 but I had my daughter a long time ago now after my pregnancy I put on 55 pounds that is 25 kilos that is four stone I put on a monumental amount of weight and it was really really hard for me to lose it because I was so used to being quite slim and suddenly having all this weight this excess weight but my daughter only weighed seven pounds and I put on 55 I put on far too much weight I ate too much and I really started to not like myself I had got quite down after it so I wanted to give you a bit of background about me as well I'm a baker cook a chef I do bits and pieces on TV I do lots of stuff for charity fostering and adoption and I'm studying a master's degree in psychology, which I love and adore. And I hope to be sharing more of that with you as well. But I was also, before all of that, I was a model in London, Paris, Milan, New York, Tokyo. I was on runways with people like Naomi Campbell, Kate Moss. But underlying all of that was always the thing that you had to be slim. Back when I was a model, you didn't have to be stick thin slim. You could be a little bit more curvaceous. I always struggled with my weight. Nothing too severe, nothing too serious, but you know, I love to have food when you're about to put on a swimsuit and go on the Chanel runway, you kind of want to make sure, A, that you get booked for the job, but B, that your body is in tip-top shape. I'm no expert, I'm not a nutritionist. So guys, if you start a new exercise plan or a diet plan, please speak to your doctor. I am no expert, big disclaimer, but I just wanted to share my experience. After having just put on a bit of weight over the festive period and not listening to my own principles, I wanted to share with you the way that I stay in shape and the way that I lost that weight. I've done so many of the things that say they're quick fixes, but to have sustained weight loss and to keep that body that you want and to be happy and not to be hungry these are the things that I did to lose weight and remember it's not just weight you want to be losing it's the fat because you want to have that muscle on your body which makes you nice and firm and look good and healthy and also when you have a little bit of muscle then it also increases your metabolism which is what we all want isn't it? Baking for me is sometimes tough because I love to eat. I think one of the reasons that I got into baking in the first place was that I absolutely love cake batter. Sometimes I have this internal battle between wanting to cook, wanting to bake, wanting to share stuff with you, and then also I'm like, but I'm gonna eat so much in doing so. One of my first top tips is when you are baking, bake for others, bake with others. Bake to share, make sure you've got other people there that you're gonna bake with. And I have my rule of one scoop of cake batter and that's it. One scoop is enough, just a little taste. Exercise, it's an obvious one, yes, it's an obvious one, but it's a good one. I exercise, I've been exercising for years and I've just discovered the beauty of doing weights. Now I love cardio too, that sweat that you get on, your sweat's dripping, it's going into your eyes, your heart is racing, you just feel fantastic. And that's good and that's healthy and that's perfect as well for your cardio, your heart health. However, if you're serious about losing weight for long term, you've also got to include some resistance training into it. Body weight training, calisthenics, weightlifting, whatever you want to call it. If you want to have a body with sustained weight loss, then doing some kind of resistance and weights training has to form part of your routine. When you have a little bit more muscle in your body, that muscle increases your metabolism. So you burn calories whilst you're not even working out. Writing down what I eat had a fundamental difference to my weight loss. I didn't realize actually how much I ate and I used to eat way too much. This website called If It Fits Your Macros and you can put in how much you weigh, how much exercise you do and it will tell you the calories you need to eat every day and then it will give you a bit, if you wanna lose a bit of weight, it says the calories that you need to reduce to lose the weight. Now, I'm not a big lover of counting calories. However, initially, if you really do want to lose weight, but you want it just as a way of life. So it shouldn't be looked at as something that we're just gonna do for a period of time. It should be something that you can sustain you and see you through. So once you've hit your target weight, you can just adjust it slightly and still eat a really healthy meal and never put on that weight again. Once you know exactly how much a chicken breast is, how much that much rice is, how much that fried chicken is, once you can see and you know by eye how much things are, then you get much more control of how much you should be eating. So it's not about getting obsessive about it. We don't wanna get obsessed by. And that way we can gain control of our bodies, of our shape, of our sizes, all by ourselves without any fatty diets. 
water you read it all the time don't you drink loads of water drink loads of water one of the problems is when you feel hungry when i feel hungry i'm actually thirsty i'm actually dehydrated so i find that when i drink the right amount of water and stay hydrated then i do keep being super hungry at bay which is often so much about dehydration have your biggest meal at lunch so apparently your metabolism is the most efficient at lunchtime so a big meal at lunch there's so much out there about carbs. Don't eat carbs, carbs are not great. Now, too many carbs obviously is not great, but I love carbs. If I could just have one macro, macros, proteins, carbs or fats, I would just eat carbohydrates because I love them. They're amazing, they're my friend. They make me feel yummy, they make me feel just. But too many carbohydrates are not good. And if you don't burn them off in your exercise and this, that and the other, they get stored as fat. Well, every excess gets stored as fat. What I found is that if I adjust my carbs slightly, so rather than just have rice, because I love like a big bowl of rice, I get my carb intake mainly from my veg. So loads of veg, loads of green healthy veg, your spinach and your kale and even peas, and peppers, red peppers, tomato. Get lots of your carbs from your veg, and you can still have your quinoa or whatever else, but pile your plate high with veg, plus your protein, your fish, or your tofu, or your chicken, or whatever else, and you'll find that you stay fuller longer, which is just what we want if we're trying to have sustained weight loss. I am a big lover of the cert food eating plan. Cert foods are these sirtuin foods which are known to reduce inflammation in your body, the inflammation which can cause diseases, and they are said to increase your metabolism, which is great, the metabolism to help us burn that extra weight. And these foods are everyday foods like cooked tomatoes, blueberries, capers, kale, green tea. If we increase our intake of those kind of foods, that can really help us too. There's this thing, you know we're supposed to eat like our five a day or seven a day of fruit and veg. I didn't realise that I was eating so much fruit and that the fruit had so much sugar in which is not going to help me lose weight. It's so strange, my doctor said to me, you know Lorraine, because I said I couldn't lose my baby weight and my doctor was like, well what's going on, what are you eating? And I gave him a breakdown of what I was eating and he said, whoa, you're eating too much fruit. I just thought fruit, I could eat as much fruit as, we li as I liked. No, he said, fruit contains sugar. What is in the body is just sugar. So just try and limit your intake of your fruits. So I said, well, what, how many should I be eating a day? He said, well, just two really. All of the fruit I was eating, I paired it back and just had two servings of fruit a day. And it's the kind of berries, that slightly lower sugar fruit that's best. So yeah, what a shock, that. So I just didn't realize that I shouldn't be eating so much fruit. And now I realize that fruit is good, veg is good, but it's about more veg, and a little bit less fruit. Even though I'm a baker and I always have cakes in the house, I kind of make sure, as I said before, that I've got friends coming round. This tip helps me though, because I struggle to have foods in the house that I know I shouldn't be eating. I can't have a bag of chips in the cupboard. I can't have a whole thing of cookies in the cupboard. If I have those foods, the foods that I know I shouldn't really be eating, I know I'm gonna pick and pick and pick, and pick at them until the whole bag of crisps is gone. So, never have foods in the house that you know you shouldn't really be eating. I think the thing that's helped me above anything else is planning my meals ahead of time. Because you know when you're out and about, rushing around, and suddenly you've got a grumble in your stomach, you're not gonna go home for a few hours, and you've got no food. It's so easy to just grab the food, grab anything, grab that nut bar, grab that bag of crisps, grab that chocolate bar, and then you're eating food that's not gonna help you with weight loss at all. So I like to plan my meals ahead of time, and I don't do this every day, and sometimes I'm too busy, and sometimes I forget. But if you could maybe like cook a whole chicken, and then you've got like chicken for salads and that kind of thing, and make meals for lunch to go to work, and then you know that when you're hungry, you can grab something and you're not gonna get caught out eating unhealthy meals when you're on the go. Okay, so this is where I used to go wrong. So I'd be on a healthy eating plan and it's difficult because I don't like calling it diet because diet to me suggests something that is temporary and something that is gonna end. But the thing is, I like to call it a healthy eating plan because if you call it a healthy eating plan, it's just a way of life rather than something you're doing for a short period of time. Chewing slowly, chewing food slowly, chewing consciously and mindfully. And I struggle with this so much because I'm just hoover the food up and it's gone. And whenever I'm with a group of people, I'm always the first sitting there like, why is everyone taking so long to eat? Because I eat too quickly. And when you eat quickly, you don't even give your body a chance to realize that it's full and you suddenly wolf down twice as much as you would. So that conscious eating, that mindful eating, which is so hard to do, especially when you know, you're on the phone or on the internet. So mindful eating and chewing really, really helps. You know when you fall off the wagon, 
something goes wrong, you go out, you have a, have a few drinks, you have a whole load of food, you come home, have a whole load of chocolate or something, and you've fallen off the wagon. Be kind to yourself, be kind to yourself, be good to yourself, it happens to all of us. And I tend to beat myself up, and we don't wanna beat ourselves up, we wanna realize that we're human, and now and again we're gonna make slips, and then remember that the very next meal, not the next day, the next meal you're gonna do right. Because don't you, sometimes I'm like, I'll start on Monday, then Monday becomes Thursday, Thursday becomes Friday, then Monday comes and then I'm still not doing it and then suddenly it's like six months has gone by and I haven't been eating healthy. So remember, if you fall off the wagon, which is normal, which is natural, just get back on it the next meal and be kind to yourself and know you're only human. I hope you've enjoyed these tips, there's no magic bullet for weight loss. It's about exercise, eating well, making sure you've got loads of leafy veg, portion control, knowing how much you're eating. It's still about indulging now and again in beautiful baking cakes, but managing the amount that you eat. There's nothing wrong with a few bites here and there. It's about drinking water. When I did it, when I lost that four stone, it took a while, but it came off in the right way. I wasn't just losing weight, I was losing fat. It's about losing the fat. You don't wanna lose muscle, you wanna lose fat. I hope that sharing my tips with you will help you as well. And soon I'll be doing a big book giveaway where you can win a signed book, my book on healthy eating, eating well made easy, which has got delicious, filling, nutritious, tasty, easy food in it, and cakes. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Big love.